have killed the dinosaurs. Guys, aid! Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies that bombed hard due to bad acting. What is wrong with you? The big thing! For this list, We'll be looking at the worst films that contained poor showings from the cast and performed poorly at the box office. It's hard to say that these movies bombed exclusively because of the acting, but we can confidently state that the subpar performances played a role. Did you manage to sit through these line readings? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. The Love Guru This comedy was not only bad, it arguably helped end Mike Myers' career as a funny live-action leading man. Ajneesh, I'd like an alligator soup and make it snappy. <laughs> <laughs> because alligators are snappy, and at the same time I wanted prom. He stars as the titular love guru, who must help the best player on the Toronto Maple Leafs hockey team get through some personal problems. Myers doesn't shine his brightest in the role, and even won the Razzie Award for Worst Actor. I'd like to thank the Academy. Wow, these things are heavy. Yeah. Put me down, a-hole. Okay. <laughs> but he's not the only one who disappoints. Many of the movie's Razzie nominations were for its acting, with Jessica Alba, Vern Troyer, and Oscar winner Ben Kingsley also receiving nominations. The Love Guru made a little over $40 million on a $62 million budget, which tells you everything you need to know. What's the capital of Thailand? Bangkok? Exactly. Oh! Oh my Sharif, my ball! Number 9. The Mummy Tom Cruise doesn't miss often, but when he does, he misses hard. What are you doing here? Jenny looks good. Okay, this isn't happening. I mean, really great. Okay, really, stop. The Mummy served as a reboot of the long-running horror franchise, and it looked to kickstart a brand new shared world centered around the classic Universal Studios monsters. The film's budget reportedly fell between $125 to $195 million, and it grossed a seemingly successful $410 million. But it appears no expense was spared on promotion, which meant money was lost in the end. Like a curse. Around here, that's just another word for treasure. And this guy, this Henry guy, he seems to want it pretty bad. Well, now he's gonna have to pay double. The Mummy's failures were many, and critics often pointed to the acting as a particular source of contention. Cruz's performance didn't measure up to his career highs, and he was aided by disappointing showings from the supporting cast, including the Razzie-nominated Russell Crowe and Sofia Boutella. Number 8. The Adventures of Pluto Nash Few movies have bombed as hard as The Adventures of Pluto Nash. Well, he'll help us. He couldn't sing a note if it weren't for me. You taught Tony Francis how to sing? No, I convinced a bookie not to pour some acid down his throat. It's one of the worst performing releases of all time, grossing a pitiful $7.1 million on an $100 million budget. The fact that disaster was on the horizon was evident from the jump. Both actor Joe Pantoliano and director Ron Underwood have claimed that they knew the film left a lot to be desired, even as they were making it. It's a cryogenic chihuahua. It's a real dog. Oh, yeah, it's very delicate. You know it's illegal to bring pets up here. But I got a friend back in Juarez who knows how to freeze dry these things. Underwood pointed to his star Eddie Murphy, claiming that he wasn't feeling that funny. This opinion was mirrored by critics, who berated Murphy's lead performance and felt it was uncharacteristically dull. It's safe to say it's certainly a blemish on the actor's otherwise legendary resume. It is a pleasure to meet me. Number 7. Batman and Robin when people look back and remember the great movie Batmans, George Clooney probably isn't the first name to come to mind. Chicks dig the car. This is why Superman works alone. Now he's hardly Batman and Robin's only problem. It's considered one of the worst movies out there, with its campy tone and horrible script earning much ire, but the cast was also the subject of some criticism. Many people disliked Alicia Silverstone's Batgirl, and Arnold Schwarzenegger was found to be grossly miscast as Mr. Freeze. That's Kick some ice. At least his dreadful puns are legendary. But most of the blame was laid at Clooney's feet, with critics finding him a poor and unconvincing Batman. Five of the actors received Razzie nominations, with Silverstone winning it for Worst Actress. Using feminine wiles to get what you want, trading on your looks? Read a book, sister. That passive-aggressive number went out long ago. Chicks like you give women a bad name. Number 6. Kazam. Shaquille O'Neal is a spectacular basketball player, but in this case, his acting chops didn't live up to his athletic skill. And if you girls are hungry, let's green egg and ham it. 
Kazam was released in 1996, the same year O'Neill won gold at the Olympics and moved from the Magic to the Lakers. It was a huge year for his career, but he wasn't able to capitalize it with Kazam. He plays the titular character, a genie who grants three wishes to the young Max. O'Neill's performance was enjoyed by some, including critic Roger Ebert, but most found it uninteresting and it has since become the target of jokes. The movie bombed, grossing just under its budget of $20 million, and O'Neill later admitted that he only did it for the experience and money. You realize who I am? I'm your genie! In that case, I wish I was as big as you, but not so stupid! That's not a wish, that's an insult! Number 5. Geely on paper, Geely is a winner. It was written and directed by the Oscar-nominated Martin Brest and featured a number of A-list celebrities. Put some on your head. Your tongue would slap your brains out trying to get to it. Interested? Sure. The cast was led by Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck, who starred as the titular Larry Geely. Despite the duo being a real-life couple when the movie was released, folks felt they lacked on-screen spark and the movie floundered. Both received Razzies, and even won together for Worst Screen Couple. It's turkey time. Huh? Gobble, gobble. What? Even fabled actors like Al Pacino and Christopher Walken had nothing to work with, with the latter giving a horribly over-the-top performance as a detective chasing Geely. The movie made just over $7 million on a $75.6 million budget and effectively ended Bress's directing career. Oh, and in case you're interested, my life sucks. All right? Stick a fork in me, I'm done. Number four, Glitter. Mariah Carey likely hoped to become a film star with Glitter, but that didn't quite pan out. Oh, I just... I was just wondering. Wondering what? Is this a date? No, this, this is not a date. The movie's story feels derivative, with Carey playing an aspiring singer who falls for a DJ. Unoriginal scripts can still work with sharp writing and good performances, but Glitter contained neither. Carey's performance is considered particularly egregious. There's, there's more? There's better? Well, I want some of that. It's been said that she often fails to emote, and many of her scenes come across as painfully awkward, but Carrie would be the first to admit that it was bad. She's spoken at length about the movie's failure and the toll it took on her. Thankfully, there's always the mega successful singing career to fall back on. Number 3. The Wicker Man Is Nicolas Cage the most memed actor of all time? If not, he's certainly up there. No, not the bees! Not the bees! Ah! I don't have my eyes! My eyes! Ah! The Wicker Man is two things, a remake of a beloved horror movie from 1973 and a gold mine of unintentional laughs. Cage plays Edward Malis, a cop who explores a pagan island off the coast of Washington for a missing girl. He hams it up to an absurd degree, and many people find his role overacted and hilarious. How to get burned? How to get burned? I, how to get burned? How to get burned? I don't know. Look, Cage is a great actor, but not here. Not with this level of terrible line delivery. Poor reviews and bad word of mouth quickly spread, not to mention the jokes. And the movie failed to meet its $40 million budget. But hey, we can never forget that not the beast sequence. I mean, come on, it's hilarious. Killing me won't bring back your goddamn honey. Number two, Showgirls. Yeah, you've heard us talk about this one before. Many factors went into the bombing of Showgirls. Nice dress. Thanks. It's a Versace. It's Versace. <laughs> what? Versace. It's pronounced Versace. For one thing, the movie was released with an NC-17 rating, meaning nobody under 17 could be admitted. Most mainstream movies avoid this rating, as it's considered a death knell for box office success. For another, it just wasn't considered very good, with most aspects of the production earning criticism. The acting was often singled out for condemnation, especially as Elizabeth Berkley's lead performance as Nomi Malone. What do you want? Um, burger, fries, and soda. Get us some brown rice, vegetables, and a bottle of Evian. Showgirls was nominated for a staggering 13 Razzies, with six coming from the acting categories. Berkeley was notably awarded Worst Actress, and the film's failure also marked the end of her time with the Creative Artist Talent Agency. There's always someone younger and hungrier coming down the stairs after you.
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Battlefield Earth This notorious film seems to have been something of a passion project for John Travolta. While you were still learning how to spell your name! I was being trained to conquer galaxies! A Scientologist since the mid-70s, he hoped to adapt L. Ron Hubbard's Battlefield Earth for the big screen. Hubbard had published the novel in 1982, long after founding the Church of Scientology. Travolta even added his own money to the movie's budget, which ballooned up to $73 million. Everything backfired, though. Battlefield Earth was widely condemned, with many finding fault in the movie's acting. Well, according to the Klinko historians, the species is called dog. Dog. Yes. Obviously the superior race, having the man-animal chauffeur to rock. Travolta's gonzo performance was mocked far and wide, as were those of Barry Pepper, Forrest Whitaker, and Kelly Preston. Basically, no one came out looking good, and the film grossed just under $30 million. Suffice to say, plans for a sequel film were abandoned. We're going to be rich, right? Right. I am going to make you as happy as a baby cyclo on a straight diet of her bang. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.